Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you how you can save about $150 to $200 a year by not spending money on the e-commerce plan provided by Webflow. So as you might know, Webflow has a lot of different plans and if you want to try to sell something online, you are most likely going to end up purchasing the e-commerce plan, but this one costs about $29 every single month if paid annually or 42 months uh, sorry 42 dollars a month when paid monthly so that is a lot of money so how can we save money by just using the basic website builder um, built by webflow and with the power of stripe well stay tuned in this video and i will let you know so the first thing we're gonna do is uh we're gonna set up a simple website here in webflow I decided to just pick one of the templates available on Webflow. I just gave it a little bit of a twist where my name is Sam Guy and I'm based in San Francisco and I'm selling icons. So as you can see here, there is a preview of the icon bundle that I'm trying to sell. And now let's see how I can add a button that would allow anybody to purchase my icons directly from my website. And then I will show you exactly how to do this and how the whole results will look. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm logging into Stripe and I'm going here to the product tab at the top and then I will create a new product. I will call this like the icons bundle and I will call it the number one so I know what it is and I will say my favorite and most successful icons I ever designed. I will also drag and drop from my folder a little icon to show exactly what this is about so there you go the preview of my icon bundle then here i scroll a little bit more i'm not going to fill any of these but what i want to end up filling is standard packaging one time and i'm going to give it a value here of 25 dollars so 25 dollars for my icons and then i can write a description here um, that's optional but I like to do that and what it says it's like icon pricing one all right so now I, I go ahead and click the button save product on the top right hand corner as soon as that is done basically I click this button here that says create a payment link and what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow stripe to create a hosted checkout experience that I can then further customize and that I can share with anyone on the internet. So let's click that button. As you can see, my payment page looks red and white. I customize this to look a little bit like, like it stands out. And then here, my confirmation page is just a thank you page. What I can do though, I can change the confirmation page to redirect somewhere um, to to a website so what i'm gonna do is i actually go back to webflow and i will show you sorry here that if i go here i actually have a uh a page that i built to like thank people for the purchase so because this one is it already exists all i have to do is copy it from here and go here and instead of like don't show confirmation page redirect customer to your website i'm gonna put my website here and that means as you can see that my website will be shown after the payment happens and on this page customers can download the uh, icon bundle i can also allow for promotional code if i want i can collect customer addresses if i were selling something physical and i needed to ship it to them but in our scenario we don't need any of that and uh, therefore i will just hit the create a link and here we go this is the link that I'm now going to copy and share on my website and create a button with it. So let's just do that. Let's go back to Webflow. Let's go to, back to the page, the homepage from where I sell icons and let's add a button. So I will and I will drop the button here. So the button text is here. I'm going to double click to edit it and say purchase now. Select this text give it a little bit of a, of a color possibly let's uh, let's give some some border 
a little bit like a darker blue. There we go. Perfect. So it fits a little bit more with the style of the website. It's not as accentuated. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to select this button and go back to Stripe where I was. Copy the icon button bundle, sorry, URL and attribute this button. Select this and I want this. There you go. That's this, the URL opening a new tab. Perfect. So now when I click purchase now, it will send me to the Stripe hosted checkout. So next thing I'm going to do is publish to selected domains. First refresh, purchase now, click it. And there we go. And here what I can do is just simple checkout, right? So I'm in test mode. So I'm going to use uh, example at example.com. I'm going to use a Stripe test mode credit card, which is basically 4242424242 all the way. And this will basically allow my purchase to go through using this obviously fake credit card number, which only works in test mode, but which Stripe uh, recognizes. I can put any expiry date, any CBC. I can call myself Joe example. Why not? and representing 70701 Austin, Texas. As you can see, because I selected an image when I created my product, it's displaying the image here. And if I press pay, it's going to pay and then redirect me to the thank you page. So let's check this out. Is it gonna work? I will not save this credit card. So that the payment is going through because it's in test mode, it goes through and there we are. We're redirected to the thank you page, which I can now you know, customize as I want. And if I press this button, uh, I could attach the the icon bundle. And there you go. And this is how I saved you about $200 by simply using Webflow and Stripe payment links. So hope this was a useful tutorial and you can recreate this with any other website editing tools like Card or like Wix or Squarespace and you don't have to pay the hefty uh, fees of like the e-commerce plan which which are quite heavy if you calculate it uh, on a yearly basis. So again, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.